What's up, everybody? I want to do a little bit of commentary on um, part of Obama's speech here. Um, well, they say it's the full address. That's funny because uh, I have the full address that I videotaped with my own video camera, and it's more than 13 minutes long. Their magic number 13. They had to edit it probably just to get that 13. Um, anyways, this is supposedly the full address. All joking aside, I want to go through a couple things and do a little bit of commentary and then I'll skip over to some other important stuff. Um, <clears throat> you need to know how important these things are. Um, yeah, he's a puppet. Yeah, he's whatever, whatever. But what, what they're doing right now is pretty huge. So I'm just going <clears> to <throat> kind of browse through this and get to some points here. Good evening. Oh, good evening. On Wednesday, 14 Americans were killed as they came together to celebrate the holidays. No, they weren't. They were taken from family and friends blah, 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 part of up. our American family. Or that they were part of a broader conspiracy here at home. But it is clear that the two of them had gone down the dark path of radicalization. All right. So they want to go to war with another country. What do they do? They create a bad guy character in that country, right? But now they want to go to war with America. So what do they do? They create a bad guy character in America. That bad guy character is online radicalization. Everybody's being radicalized online. Such a radical trip. All right. So they make up this bullshit. They proceed with their narrative. They take away your rights. With this speech alone... He took away probably a dozen of your rights, and you don't even know it because he speaks in such broad terms. And just He does that intentionally. They speak in a broad language that most Americans pump their fist and say, yeah, go get them, you know. But no, that's not what they're doing. They're not going after anybody but you. Embracing a perverted interpretation of Islam that calls for war against America and the West. They stockpiled assault weapons, ammunition. So what weapons are they going after? He doesn't want to say they stockpiled pistols. He doesn't want to say they stockpiled slingshots. He wants to say they stockpiled uh, assault weapons, assault rifles, because those are the only weapons that would have any possible defense in a revolt, in a revolution of taking back our country. That would be America's only chance. So that's what they're going after. And pipe bombs. So this was an act of terrorism. And pipe bombs. You can't buy pipe bombs anyways. So what they're trying to do here is they're trying to make it illegal for you to even go to a hardware store and let's say you need an ingredient of a pipe bomb for something completely different. You have no intention of making a pipe bomb. Well, that happens to be an ingredient of that, so you can't buy that. All right, they want to make they want to make it illegal for you to even purchase the parts to build such a thing, um, even though you probably have no intention on doing so. Designed to kill innocent people. Our nation has been at war with terrorists since Al Qaeda killed nearly three thousand Americans on 9/11. It wasn't Al Qaeda. It was the United States of America that you paid to protect you. Relentlessly pursued terrorist networks overseas, disrupting safe havens in several different countries. Congratulations on disrupting a safe haven. Disrupting a safe haven. Disrupting a safe haven. All right, these safe havens are probably for people just like you and me who have happened to awaken, who know what GMOs are, who know what chemtrails are. They know what, uh, you know, just the, the things that they're pulling off. They know, they know about the hoaxes, All right? It's only a matter of time before they start using these unmanned aerial vehicles or drones to strike American citizens on American soil. Killing Osama bin Laden and decimating Al-Qaeda's leadership. Over the last few years, however... The terrorist threat has evolved into a new phase. Well, now it's evolved. 
Yep. Evolved, another broad term, another another term that's going to grab you and pull you in. Oh, it's evolved. There's no explanation on. It's so ridiculous that there's these this many shootings every week. There's no explanation for it, so they throw that word evolved. It's evolved into this. So then you think, oh, it, it fucking evolved. That's why I guess it just evolved. As we've become better at preventing complex, multifaceted attacks like 9/11. Terrorists turn to less complicated acts of violence, like the mass shootings that are all too common in our... What he really means to say is, as America begins to awaken and realize that 9-11 was a complete hoax, they're starting to arm themselves. So, as a precaution, we don't want you to arm yourselves. We want to make it illegal for you to arm yourselves. So we're going to say that terrorists are now picking, little, picking up little weapons assault rifles, etc. Society. It is this type of attack that we saw at Fort Hood in 2009. Another in Chattanooga PSYOP. Earlier this year. Another PSYOP. And now in San Bernardino. Another PSYOP. And as groups like ISIL. 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 Not ISIS anymore because everybody knows it stands for Israeli Secret Intelligence Service. So they changed it to ISIS. Oh, he's got cocksucker cramp right there. We're amidst the chaos of war in Iraq and then Syria. And as the internet erases the distance between countries, we... S as the internet erases the distance between countries. You probably didn't even hear him say it, but he said it. His broad terminology just said he wants to censor the internet. He wants to take away freedom of truth. See growing efforts by terrorists to poison the minds of people like the Boston Marathon bombers. Poison? And the San Bernardino. Poison the minds. Stop telling the truth. You're poisoning people's minds. Bernardino killers. For seven years, I have confronted this evolving threat each and every morning in my intelligence briefing. And since the day I took this office, I have authorized U.S. forces to take out terrorists abroad precisely because I know how real the danger is. As Commander-in-Chief, I have no greater responsibility than the security of the American public. Here's what I want you to know. The threat from terrorism is real, but we will overcome it. We will destroy ISIL and any other organization that tries to harm us. We will destroy ISIL and any other organization. Any other organization. Our success won't depend on tough talk, or abandoning our values, or giving in to fear. That's his speech is supposedly about ISIS, but he throws in that any other organization. You don't realize that by any other organization, he also means United States citizens who are in tune to their bullshit. What groups like ISIL are hoping for. Instead, we will prevail by being strong and smart. Res any country where it is necessary. All right, this is something you need to hear. Our military will continue to hunt down terrorist plotters in any country where it is necessary. In any country where it is necessary. Now, he's not going to say on national TV that includes the United States. But what he means is that is predominantly the United States. He wants to exercise military action right here in the United States. All right. Take a look outside. Look at the children playing. Take a look at your neighbors. Take a look at the average people. Take a look at people with anti-Obama stickers. Take a look at people with Second Amendment stickers. That's the type of people they want to exercise military force against. In Iraq and Syria, airstrikes are taking out ISIL leaders. We're working with Turkey to seal its border with Syria right away. To begin with, Congress should act to make sure no one on a no-fly list is able to buy a gun. All right, and this is what I'm getting at here. Okay, what you need to understand about this no watch or no-fly zone watch list thing is that you won't be able to buy a gun if you're on a watch list. All right. There are over 700,000 people on that watch list. Do you think there are 700,000 American homegrown radical terrorists in America? No. 
but that number is growing and if they pass this it will continue to grow it will be probably triple or quadruple what it is now once they get this passed because they can literally put anybody on it anytime they want to for any reason for any reason they do not have to go in front of a judge to get that authorization they just put you on it and you're on it and you're never off it And that's the problem. The vast, there aren't 700,000 terrorists operating in America oh, there, that would all be captured under this amendment. There are over 700,000 Americans on some watch list or another that would all be captured under this amendment the Democrats offer. And that's the problem. The vast, there aren't 700,000 terrorists operating in America openly on watch lists. They include vast numbers of Americans who have names similar to someone we're looking for. Sometimes you're only on that list because the FBI wants to talk to you about someone you know. Not because you're a suspect. All right. Note the time on this um, on this video. 9:11 a.m. 9:11 a.m. Drilling that 9:11 into your head. This Marco Rubio guy sounds like what he's saying is pretty awesome, right? It sounds like he's on your side, right? But that's what they call controlled opposition. A Russian communist once said, "The best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves." So don't be fooled by this. I'm not showing you this because I think this guy is awesome and I think he's on your side. I'm showing you this because he's making some good points that you need to be aware of. And if they were smart, they would have never even said this, But um, which is why Jake Tapper keeps cutting him off. Um, and I'm also showing you this to show you what controlled opposition is. And again, now your Second Amendment right is being impeded with. I don't think it's accurate to say that a majority of them are are, are on the list by See Jake Tapper cutting in trying to he's like, Oh, you said a little bit too much there, buddy, we gotta fix that. Accident. Do some damage control here. And, but uh, let me a very significant number of people on those lists are on there because they have names similar to somebody else. My office deals with dozens of calls every year from people that are on, on no fly list or identified lists. Of, of watch lists. It's not so just the, a no-fly list. So these not, watch lists should, no be, list. these watch list should these, just be ignored? No, they shouldn't be ignored, but, uh, but they shouldn't be used as a tool to impede 700,000 Americans or potential Amer people on that list from having access to being able to fully utilize their Second Amendment rights. There are many people on no-fly lists that are not terrorists, not just no-fly lists, I apologize, on any of these terror watch lists, because that amendment was not just limited to the no-fly list. That is not a perfect database, and it has a significant number of errors. To begin with, Congress should act to make sure no one on a no-fly list is able to buy a gun. And that there are over 700,000 Americans on some watch list or another that would all be captured under this amendment the Democrats offered. And that's the problem. The vast, there aren't 700,000 terrorists operating in America openly on watch lists. They include vast numbers of Americans who have names similar to someone we're looking for. Sometimes you're only on that list because the FBI wants to talk to you about someone you know. They include vast numbers of Americans who have names similar to someone we're looking for. Sometimes you're only on that list because the FBI wants to talk to you about someone you know. 